Hey, how's it going? I can't believe this. I was just going through my camera and uh, I can't believe I deleted this by mistake. I was just kind of frustrated with what happened. Anyways, so what, here's what happened. I was I was sitting here tying my shoe. Next thing you get these these two little ducks. You see them over here? See the two mallards? Well, they came up to me begging for some food. You know, I just say hi to them or whatever, you know. Because they're friendly little fellows. Mama and uh, Papa there. And, uh, all of a sudden, this big giant black dog and, and a little red-nosed pit bull, they come running up to the ducks like they're going to rip them apart. I'm like, whoa, 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 get back here. And I'm yelling, hey, leash your dog, please, leash your dog. You know, there's signs posted all over this. This is uh, the Coal Harbor Heritage Park here in, in uh, Coal Harbor, Nova Scotia. And, you know, I'm friends with the warden and all that. And there's leash laws in this park for a reason, because there's there's all kinds of wildlife. But, but yet these dogs come running by and almost kill these ducks. So, of course, I chase the dogs away. And when I told the lady about it, she just jogged right past me like there was nothing wrong. Wearing her Walkman, ignoring me. You know, here comes two, uh, two other dogs off the leash. Look, right now. Check this out. Two other dogs right off the leash. There's three people walking them. See? There's a dog off the leash there. Another one. Excuse me? Could you guys leash your dogs, please? There's some ducks right here. There's a there's a leash law in this park, you know. What? There's a leash law in this park to protect the wildlife, eh? Okay, why don't you follow the rules then? I I know, but some some lady just came past here a few minutes ago wearing a Walkman, and I asked her the same question, and her dog almost ripped one of the ducks up. He came right at it. I had to chase him away, right? So. That's cool. I just wanna. They're pretty cool though. They just come right up to say hi, eh? I just figured I'd take some pictures of them. They're so cute. <laughs> but anyways, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Have a good night, eh? Yeah. At least they were nice enough to leash the dogs. That's cool. Nice dogs. I love dogs. Have a good night. Yeah, I do love dogs. I, lo I love I love people that are nice about it, you know. The lady with the Walkman on, she just ran by me like I was saying hi to her or something. I was waving to her like, hello. <sighs> There's something wrong with this place, man, I tell you. It makes me want to move out further away from the city. It really does. You guys just witnessed it right there. People just, oh yeah, oh, I know. And when, you know, you mention it, then they're like, oh, well, maybe I should do something about it. You know, the ignorance is just, it's eating this world up, man, I tell ya. I was like that before, too, but I've changed my ways. Yeah. Thank God the ducks are still doing good. <laughs> I'm sure there's, they might not be the type of dog that would go after it, but that little pit bull, man, he was right on the, the papa duck almost. And if I, if I didn't get in between them, who knows what could happen. You know, I do love dogs. I had a dog myself, but, uh, you know, you just gotta... If you're in a provincial park where there's leash laws, you know, just have a leash with you and use it. You know? I've come across deer, porcupines, uh woodpeckers, eagles, rabbits. You guys watch my videos all the time. If you do, well, you know about it, right? There's all kinds of wildlife. See, these little ducks are so harmless. They don't mean anything. And you get some, somebody's dog that comes along and just wants to play. They, well, that's the dog's nature. They just want to play and bite, right? But <laughs> mama's chewing her foot. <laughs> but, you know, you just got to... From a human perspective, they they gotta be on a leash, man. Sorry. It's just respect for the wildlife, that's all. It's not trying to be mean to them or nothing. It's just respect the rules because you need to respect wildlife, that's all. 
Anyways, enough said. <laughs> I hope you guys like watching these ducks. They're so cool. <laughs> Did you know that they eat fish? Yeah. Mallard ducks actually love eating fish. They they absolutely love it. I don't know if they go they're good at catching them, but I know they dive. Depends on the species of duck, eh? But some ducks they'll dive right underneath the water just like a loon or a cormorant will. Cormorants can actually swim under the water. They they can swim as fast as they can fly. Yeah. I see them all the time when I'm fishing mackerel down at the ocean. <laughs> These guys are just rummaging through the grass. Thank God spring's arrived, eh? <laughs> all the little grasses around and stuff. Forging on the plants, guys. Hmm. Kept saying, my friends, all my relations. God bless you. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna get a hike on here and uh, just hope the duckies have a good night. Ah, mama, shake a tail feather, sort of papa. Oh, it stretched them wings. <laughs> oh, I can almost sit here all night and watch them. They're so cool. Oh, stretch them wings, mama. That's it. Oh, feels good, eh? <laughs> Shake a tail feather, eh? Ooh, look at that, Mama. Hey, Mama's showing off her wings. <laughs> I wish I had some corn or some bread to fill it for you guys. I really do. Oh, oh, he's shaking his wings too. Eh? Oh. <laughs> God love them, eh? Aren't they so sweet? I wonder what I should name them. What's your names? What's your names? Phil and Barbara? Is that your names? We'll call them Phil and Barbara. There you go. Meet Phil and Barbara. Two neighborhood ducks. <laughs> yeah, I see these guys uh, up by my house all the time. Just like I live right by the beginning of the trail here. The, the Trans Canada Trail, and you walk like 25 feet into the trail, and on the left side there's this little pool where these guys are always hanging out. There's like this, uh, I don't know, there's all kinds of trees sheltering it and stuff. It's a good place to get out of the storm, so yeah, these guys are pretty smart. Pretty lucky you got me around too, eh? Well, I'm pretty lucky I got you around too. Yeah. At least I got someone to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Phil and Barbara, say hi, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Cheers.